Oh shit, I forgot, someone is inevitably going to click on this video. Shit. Um, well, hello there everyone, Dinko the Omniscient Entity here, and welcome to another shitty ass commentary that will have everyone on Neptune experience the worst heat wave they had in the last 25 billion years, like that makes any sense. Alright, everyone, today marks the moment for what everyone has been waiting for, for a very long time. Today I am going to make Eddie Wise's highly anticipated video of his young life, an over 20 minute long commentary on himself, Eddie Wise. So without further ado, grab some popcorn and or soda, and let's look at Eddie Wise the human fucking mean I mean seriously hypocrite kid 17 minute response video onto of my videos I made in him. Jeez, that last sentence sounded unintelligible, did it not? What is up my subscribers? Don't expect me to have all the answers Eddie, because I have no fucking clue either. Some people claim that there are extraterrestrials living in our solar system and beyond, and some people claim that there is a divine entity that created us all and all the animals that inhabited this planet, but I am just going to come up with the conclusion that all there is left up there is space. I guess this should give you some ideas. This is me, Eddie Wise here, and today I'm gonna make a 20 minute long video. Actually Eddie, I think it's only 17 minutes long, mind you. Of a subscriber. Since when did I subscribe to you at all? Whoops. That is keep on making rants on me. And his name is Otto Magic Critic. You know that guy. No, I do not. I do not know such individual known as Otto Magic Critic. But I am just going to say this. Does she have any tits yet? Show me a picture of Otto's tits. Okay, I'll stop. The guy that made two commentaries on my fucking asshole. Okay, what the hell? Otto is making commentaries on your fucking asshole. Literally the opening at the end of the elementary canal through which solid waste matter leaves the body. Jeez, as if YouTube content had never gotten worse during my absence online, but I've sadly mistaken. Also Eddie, I didn't know flipping people off counts as numerals of any kind. Good job there Eddie, that is something totally revolutionary and I'll have to give you props for that. Yeah, the first commentary was a commentary on the human fucking bean. Whoever this human fucking bean is is a mystery in itself, but rest assured, he is a human fucking bean inside of his comp- Okay, I'll stop. I was talking about the- you know, Talking about Mr. Enter and telling people to stop making rant videos out of him. But guess what? Automatic Critic responded to me and made a video on it. So not only did he respond to it, but he also made a video in it. Okay. And then, a couple months later, I made a video when I was outside talking to myself, mumbling to myself about- hey. About what? Unicorns puking flying leprechaun feces. Because that would be a topic, if you are truly mumbling to yourself, which you weren't, because it was a highly detailed masterpiece of a video. The human, about the write out loud and uh, speakonia, talking about, automatic critic sounds like Stephen Hawking, but he does not sound like Stephen Hawking. No Eddie, I do sound like Stephen Hawking. If that's how you perceive me beforehand, then so be it. You don't have to change it now. He using he's he uses speakonia. Oh, speakonia, you say? As established before. About the write out loud and uh, speakonia. Speakonia is kind of like a, a voice thing on on the internet or something like that. Never mind the fact that speakonia is not browser based anyway. But you know what, Automagic Critic? You pissed me off. <laughs> Okay. You pissed me off because do you know why you pissed me off? Because you keep on making rants on me. You mean to? To to me doesn't sound like a frequent number, but whatever, suit yourself I guess. How many videos are you gonna make on me? Three. Ten? Wait, that's ten? Eleven? A thousand? Probably, if I had a sweatshop in the middle of Indonesia to do the job for me, but even then, that would cost me a fuck ton. Like seriously? He said it! He said it! How many commentaries are you gonna make out of me? Three. Are you gonna make four commentaries on me? Are you gonna make five commentaries on me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten? One. One commentary. Two. Two commentaries. Ha 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 ha. Fuck. I did a horrible count impression. Are you gonna make ten commentaries on me? Thanks for the visual aid there, Eddie. I couldn't have known that a ten looked like a one right beside that zero. But, I am not so sure, if it's organized with a zero before the one, just saying. Because how you feel about me? I don't feel anything. You think I'm a fucking dumbass? Given how you reacted just now, I am more concerned about how you, anywise, are feeling. Well, you just made me angry, Automatic Critic. 
You made, you made me angry. You do not like me when I'm angry. You're getting me really angry right now. And when I get angry, you do not like, you will not like me when I'm angry. What are you going to do? Turn into the Incredible Hulk or something? Damn, this could have been a potential line in my Matthew Davis commentary from 2016. Because if you make me angry out of these stupid dumb commentaries... Given how you describe them, I think that getting angry is the least likely thing that will occur. I will turn into the Hulk! I knew it. But wait, the Hulk? Just the Hulk? Not the Incredible Hulk? Or the Amazing Hulk? And smash your spine, rip it apart, and, and, and I'll put it and shove it into your asshole. Ouch. That sounds incredibly painful. You will basically punch my spine, tear it apart and put it and shut it in my asshole. Actually, come to think of it, that sounds pretty kinky. Congrats Otto, you hit rock bottom. I am sick and tired of your bullshit, Auto Magic Critic. I am sick and tired of your fucking bullshit. Just leave me alone! Your wish has been granted, my son. I've had my computer privileges confiscated from me, so I guess some higher power answered your request in a way that defies quantifiable exclamation. Just leave me alone. Keep in mind guys, this video was made during my absence in the internet, so if you knew what was happening during that time, you wouldn't make sense of what he's trying to offer. It's my business. Then why do you post your stuff on the internet where everyone can see it? And you should leave my videos alone. Those are not my videos for you to touch. Luckily, I can't touch any videos because I would end up touching my computer screen instead. So what the hell are you talking about? In all seriousness, oh, what do you mean these are not videos for me to touch? It's the internet, everything you post on YouTube can be seen by anyone around the world. It's not like anyone is stealing a government file or anything of that sort. Just leave me the fuck alone. Or else you have a surprise coming when you meet me in the real fucking world. Luckily for me, I won't meet you in the real world, because I am not real. I am leaving it up to you guys to figure that out for yourself. Like, what are you going to do when you see me in a real fucking world? Say nothing, just walk away. Survival. Or maybe give you a free V-Bucks gift card for your trouble. Bully me? Steal my money? In exchange with Bitcoin. Beat me up and bully me? So not only will I bully you, I will beat you up and bully you. Okay then. And laugh like... Uh, laugh at me? Laugh like what? Laugh like I have my throat tonsils removed. What? You never heard of throat tonsils? Oh wait, I am going to laugh like, laugh at me. Who the hell is laugh at me? Is he a nice person? Maybe that's what you're probably going to do. No, I would never do that. And I know you don't like when I say, I mean seriously, you don't even like when I say that. That right there is not true, because I don't care how many times you say I mean seriously. But what I am focusing on is your absence of forming a script, which causes you to repeat the same shit over and over and over again. And you say I mean seriously a lot deserves its own compilation. Why? Is it because my Asperger syndrome makes me say that all the fucking time? Ah uh, yes, one of the most defining symptoms for Asperger's syndrome is endlessly saying I mean seriously I mean seriously I mean seriously I mean seriously throughout the video. Look Eddie, even if you have Asperger's Syndrome, there is always a way to overcome this issue, and prevent you repeating the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over again. What you could do is either edit the video, use a script, or, goddammit, not do live streams is your normal way of making videos. Editing and writing a script is not that hard to do, so what I am suggesting here is to use Windows Movie Maker, something I am using right now. It's free, easy to use, and, although it might not be the best option, at least it's better than making live stream videos. Use that when you are playing some video game or something. And like I said in my 25th commentary, artists are not branded morons. If you use the autism card to excuse someone's incompetence, you are basically saying that all autistic people behave like that, and contrary to that mentality, that has nothing to do with that disability in the slightest, and there is no excuse for one's incompetence, no matter who you are, black, white, yellow, brown, red, or fuck even green. I mean look, just because I say I mean seriously does not mean I have to say it over and over and over again. Exactly. Yeah, Automagic Critic. You just love me, don't you? Um, here, that I cannot answer at the moment. You just love me. You just love when you make more videos on me. Who does this slapstick think I am? Tell you from that day Arnold show. Here, the fact that you think I do this just because I am insecure about my feelings makes me think someone else in this situation loves me. Stay away from my butt, will ya? Yeah. Your commentaries are really good. 
Thank you. But they're not going to affect you in the real world. You hear that, guys? Eddie Wise said that there won't be any consequences in the future with my commentary still in the internet. I am starting to think the reason why I was prohibited from using the internet for the time being was pointless at best. You can make more commentaries on me. Thank you for your permission. But it's not going to affect you in the real world because they don't know who I am. Exactly. They don't know who you are. Given that they are inorganic, they don't derive from living matter that plants and animals rely on, and therefore cannot acknowledge your existence. They don't know who... Look, Automatic Critic. They don't know who I am. They don't know who Eddie Wise is. Yes, because they are videos. They can't breathe. They can't hear or see or think or feel. And yes, they don't know who Eddie Wise is despite the fact that Eddie Wise is somewhere in the titles. And I know. Just leave me alone, Automatic Critic, and shut up. Now, Eddie, I need to let you know that it's opposite day, and I am usually subordinate to your demands, but since I have a broad holiday spirit, a jack for kids 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 for or else, if you keep, if you make a, a commentary a number three on me, I'm going to get fucking pissed. I thought you said I can make a commentary on you. What happened now? I am dead fucking serious. And AVGN, you are not. I am dead fucking serious right now, Automagic Critic. I am sick and tired of your bullshit. I am sick and tired of your crap. Okay, Eddie, since you are sick and tired of my bullshit, and you are sick and tired of my crap, I might as well remind both of these entities. Hello, is this the council of my bullshit and my crap? Your commentaries, they may be good. Thank you. Your editing can be very good. Now I wouldn't say that, Eddie. If it were up to me, I would say that my editing is subpar compared to a lot of people. But thanks anyway. But... I think your commentaries are pretty good, because... You, how long does it take for you to make these commentaries? Five days? Two weeks? Two months? Just, just say it in a commentary. 200 trillion millenniums. Yes, it took that long and it felt so short, because my commentaries are so uneventful that not even you, the viewer, would have any interest in waiting. How long does it take for you to make these commentaries? I really don't know. Just make a commentary out of this video and just tell me how long you make these videos. Just let me know. Well, it depends on what the video is exactly. My videos used to take only a few hours to make in the early days of 2016, but as always, I matured, matured into putting a little more effort into making these videos, not to mention the constant delays, thus the schedule becomes more agonizingly long. Hopefully this answers your question. Hey, gotta give me props for not making a stupid joke response this time. Because when you make another commentary on me, I will watch it, you don't say? I will leave a comment, and, and, and I will see what you say in, the, in, in your comment section, in your, in your video. You know, when you say shit like that, it leads me to believe that you are doing this just to get more publicity. Knowing this, why am I making this video in the first place? Oh well, let's continue. Yes, you made two commentaries on me. I did. I thought I only made a maximum of 500,000 of them, but whatever. And you know what? Make another commentary. No, I won't, because if I do it, you will get more attention and publicity, and I don't want that. Wait. And see how I feel when you make this other one on me. Yes, the feeling of satisfaction, because deep down you secretly enjoy my commentaries on you. Where is that commentary? Where is that commentary? Where is that commentary? Please make another fucking commentary on me. Jesus. I'm not making no more rant videos on... YouTube people. Okay, who are the YouTube people? Is it some extinct tribe in the northern parts of Newfoundland? Please tell me, because I am naturally a clueless fool who won't make sense of anything. I'm not gonna make a rant video on stuff with Scout Fly. I'm not gonna make a video on Phantom Strider and Veils Get Bummed, because you know, I'll, I'll get a lot of hate when I make those videos auto. You don't care about my criticism. You don't even care about my points at all. Except that you never actually gave me criticism in your video on me. Didn't you just say minutes ago that your video was just a bunch of rambling? Yeah, I may not have a script in my videos. Well, at least I know how to talk and at least I know how to explain 
to, to a lot of you guys. Yes, we all know that you know how to talk and explain, among other basic human functions, but do you think that's enough? If you don't have a script, you will more than likely lose track on what you're talking about, and you will not explain yourself satisfactorily. You might end up talking about random stuff that has nothing to do with the topic, and your video might become a disfigured mess. Writing a script for your videos is supposed to prevent that from happening. Believe me Eddie, once you start giving yourself time to write a script, you might end up explaining yourself thoroughly and efficiently, and avoid stuttering and being in a constant hurry into finding new words. Which leads to another big issue. Now, I know you guys are sick of me saying this, but resorting into recording live streams as a means to make actual videos doesn't work at all. To the people that subscribe to my channel, which mostly consists of empty subscribers, I hope you give me some support. And I don't think Automagic Critic won't even give me any support. Not true, Eddie. I'll give you some support when things start to get tired for both of us, I guess. Because he doesn't even give a flying fuck about me anyway. Wait a minute, if this auto guy doesn't give a flying fuck about you anyway, why did he make like to fucking videos on you? But some may say, wait a minute, aren't you auto, you personified yellow-headed penis-eating penis tip? No, I am not auto, I am just his avatar. Okay, that line didn't make any sense. No, no, it did make sense actually. You don't even care about me, you don't care. Then that's fine. You keep on making commentaries on me, but it's not going to affect a lot of people. I think you're on the right track with this one. Your videos don't even get a lot of views. I don't get a lot of views, you say? Well, if you consider 2,000 to 5,000 views at best not enough, then I'll be a single virgin male monkey son of a bitch. Wait. Your videos don't even crack up to 10,000 views. So? Your videos don't even crack up and reach up to 50,000 views. Or 100k views. You know why your videos don't get that much views? Because people don't care about you. Okay, Eddie, let me give you something to play with. Although I don't have that much views that competes with that of your average commentary channel, I only have a subscriber base of that of 700 by the time I'm making this, and my average view count is 2,000 to 5,000 views, which is far past my subscriber base. Honestly, I must be doing something right. And you're meaning to tell me that no one cares about me? Give me a break. They don't care. So leave me alone. Stop making commentaries on me. Eddie, I only made two commentaries on you. It's not like I have my own sweatshop in the middle of Indonesia that makes 1,000 commentaries on you every day. And by the way, what's with the jerking off motion you're doing? That's fucking gross. And just move on with your life. Stop making these commentaries and move on with your life. I was moving on with my life when I was off my computer, up until you made this video out of the blue in time of solitude. Here, you wonder who's the real aggressor in this situation. I was absent when you made this. And when you made uh, uh, on your video on me, the second commentary on me, what was that Mr. Potato Head driving a car? Who was that bastard? Oh, you mean those faggots who used to constantly spam my channel under the thrall of the Imperial Wizard Buzz Empire, controlled by OK I won't mention his name, because if I mention his name, I will be in deep shit in time of peace. These people got it from that cartoon in the internet called Many Drivers. You can look for it online when you're not confronted with endless amounts of videos in me from those crazy fanatics in Zachary's empire. Shit, I just mentioned his name. Better be prepared about what will come next. And what was his name? Was he making rant videos on you? Was he commentarying on your video? Wait, commentarying? How the fuck do you commit commentarying in someone's video? Damn, I was starting to forgive myself constantly correcting your grammar, but you keep giving me more and more, as we continue. Or better yet, was he comment- was he leaving you comments on your videos? If you look into the comment section in some of my videos, and the massive amounts of dislikes from those assholes, you probably should know some parts of the story. I will not get into too much detail, because refraining from doing so will get me constantly spammed again. Just make a video on me. That'll be $20. Make a video on me. I don't even care. I don't care. Okay, you're McBeaver. I'll drop the prices for you, if you insist. Oh, Eddie Wise, how dare you make a terrible video basically bitching about people who don't like Mr. Ender. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for whatever the longest time is comprehended by man. Go crawl up to your room and go to bed. No, 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 no,
Auto Magic Critic, why would you ground me like this? I mean, seriously. Fuck, that video was pure garbage. By the way, do any of you more perverted people know what Eager McBeaver truly means? Yeah, that's what I thought. You just don't even care about me. Yeah, you said that like a thousand times now. It's getting old. I don't even give a shit. Yeah, you clearly don't give a shit, despite the clear and present motivation of making this video. Look, I have way more muscle than you. I have way more muscle mass, and I'll kick your ass. Well, gee, thanks for showing me your squishy muscles. That probably has the same mass as mine. An Automagic Critic? I saw your YouTube channel. So where's the surprise part come in? Perhaps it'll be more unusual in a time when you didn't see my YouTube channel. And it says that you were born in the year 2000. That means that you're 18 years old. Oh, boy, Audi, that's a relief. I thought I was six for a minute there. Fuck, I'm a dumbass. You're not a 500-year-old demon. You're not even a demon anyway. All right, I should probably explain who this 500-year-old demon is. If you regress back to 2013 to 2014, you probably remember some troll named Henry Galamato, one of the Sierra Canal community's vital enemies. The same community, that is, just as autistic as anyone else they claim. Henry Galamato is a 505-year-old immortal demon. He's been to school for 165 years, and went to university for 7 years. Oh, don't take my word for it, look it up on Wikipedia. Oh wait, some poser deleted this information. Talk about denying history, wouldn't you say? You're not even a fucking demon. You're, you are an 18-year-old teenager. Last time I recalled, 18-year-olds are not teenagers. That are, that is making, that is. Come on, you can do it. That is making Speakonia commentary. There you go. That's who you are. You are an 18-year-old teenager making Speakonia commentaries. That's who you are. Wait, I am, I lost my identity since the times of Moya. I don't care. Don't show your face. I don't even care. Wasn't going to. And your avatar in your commentaries is a, a stick figure with a yellow face and red Google eyes. All right. Let me draw a picture of your description of this creature. Okay, I'm done. Here, looks about right. I think you are a yellow-faced cookie monster. What the fuck did you just call me? Because that's who you are. Automagic Critic, you are a yellow-faced, red, Google-eyed, kooky monster. Now, I've never cussed in over 500 years, but the gloves are off. Listen here, you son of a bitch. What the fuck is your problem? You wanna sit here and say that I'm a goddamn cookie monster? That really hurt my feelings, you piece of shit. You get in my face with that I will beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn fucker. Listen, fuckhead. You have fucking hurt my fragile little fifis. Get that through your goddamn fucking head. My asshole is hurting real bad right now. It's glowing red like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's nose. Do you know who you're dealing with here, you son of a bitch? You piece of shit. You goddamn fucking son of a fucking bitch. Because you make stupid dumb commentaries on me that don't make any fucking sense. Oh, so that's why you called me the Cookie Monster, huh? I should call you Cookie Magic Critic, because you are the fucking Cookie Monster. Oh yeah, you totally got him good, calling him Cookie Magic Critic. You are the fucking Cookie Monster. So maybe I am this Cookie Monster, but what makes you so sure I am fucking something? Ever thought of that? And you don't even care about me anyway. I dare all of you to play a drinking game for every time he says that. Hello, I'll just call you Cookie Monster from now on, Automagic Critic. I will call you the fucking Cookie Monster. Because that's who you are. Okay then, I'll be the Cookie Monster for you. I'll put on my sweaty Cookie Monster costume I wore last Halloween when I was in the Halloween orgy party. You're nothing but a sore, subbing, shoving loser. I'm nothing but a what? A sore, subbing, shoving loser? What nonsense are you talking? You are a loser, Automagic Critic. You are a sore... Suffing loser. Okay, what the hell does something mean? That word doesn't even exist at all. Hello, I don't think the word doesn't even not exist either. That's what. A little brain teaser wouldn't hurt, would it? I will keep on flipping you off whatever I want to. Go ahead, I don't care. I'd probably deserve it after how much I like to put people down and call people autistic apes. If my uncle-in-law said it, it must be true. I can complain whatever I want to complain. 
I, if I want to complain about Teen Titans Go, I can complain about Teen Titans Go. I can complain whatever I want to complain. I can complain about the Pop-Up Girls reboot, whatever I fucking want. I can complain about the Ben 10 reboot, whatever I fucking want. Didn't say you can't. I have no power to diminish your rights to do so. Just leave me alone, you bastard. Just leave me alone, or else I won't call the police. Hello, police? Here, some guy in the internet may like to commentaries on me. I am objecting you to have the SWAT team involved because of the urgency of the situation. No, 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 no. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. But I will go all the way to Germany to kick your ass. Except I don't live in Germany anymore, mind you. Yes, and who is that? Hi, my name is Tag. Tag? Are you fucking stupid? It's not Tag, you dipshit. It's Tag. Stop misinterpreting this Tag's name or else I will have you drop on your hands and knees and give you a one-way ticket to Disneyland. And today I'm making a rant on Eddie Wise's YouTube channel on YouTube. The rest is, just as you would expect, just poorly repeating what was said in the duration of Tag's rant on him. Skipping some parts. Have a 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 ha. My life is at its complete stop. All the stars in the sky falling down to the earth, despite how huge some of them are. I am permanently blind. And Eddie Wise, if you're watching this, I will now cyber bully and troll Mr. Enter. Nice alveolar trill Eddie Wise, probably dates back to your Anglo-Saxon ancestors of the 8th century. And there's nothing you can do about this. Have a 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 ha. Have a 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 Fuck, I wish I can just laugh like that awesome Linux voice. That voice is getting more recognition than Microsoft's M. I am at a state of jealousy. Fuck, what was that? Did I just experience something? This is a quality rant. Don't say anything bad about it, you big bullies. You're not wrong there, Eddie. It is a quality rant and we should not have any thoughts of insinuations of Fag's efforts into making a high quality rant. Like, who is that YouTuber that said, Hi, my name is Tag. Who is that fucking bastard? Jeez, take it easy there, Eddie. What are you gonna do? Kill him? And did he actually made a video on me? Did he actually make a video on you? That's how you say it. I mean, look, Automagic Critic. Way Doc made a video on me. But he wasn't even a commentary, it was a video or a live stream of my me singing seeds for cookie who the hell is way Duck? and why should i care who he is and how is it relevant in any way then the second commentary storm puma made a video on me it was it was the same commentary that you did when i made the human fucking bean mr enter stop making rant videos on mr enter commentary and and you made another rant on me. It was the second commentary with the speak going at Stephen Hawking. And you really pissed me the fuck off. I pissed you off? And to think that Storm Puma didn't piss you off first, since you don't want anyone to make a rant video on you. Just leave me alone, Automagic Critic. Just leave me alone. I am losing track in how much you've said it so far in this video. You don't even care about me anyway. Leave me alone, Eddie says. I don't care about him, Eddie says. He doesn't care, Eddie says. You're the goddamn cookie monster, Eddie says. Make another commentary, Eddie says. I am sick and tired of your bullshit, Eddie says. You know, I can just make a bunch of separate compilations of how much stuff he says repeatedly. Yeah, make another commentary. Let's see how you feel about this next commentary on me. Wait a minute, is it the outcome of my feelings or your feelings count when my next commentary come out? I am getting all confused. Well... I just am sick and tired of your bullshit, Automagic Critic. I am sick and tired of you. You're like a fucking broken record, you know that? I am a nice guy. I might be a nice guy if you actually- if I actually met you in person. I bet you are. But you may not fucking like me. If you- if you actually saw me in the real world, I would say, Hi, Automagic Critic, and you'll go, Psh! Okay, why the hell would I want to punch myself in the face when you say hi to me? Only retarded people do that. And you'll go ha 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 ha. And then I will laugh like a stupid person while doing the jerk off motion. What kind of weirdo do you think I am? That's for making a rant, making two rants on me, you stupid dumb autumn, uh, autism, autistic ape.
And then I will say, that's, for making a rant, making two rants on me, you stupid dumb, autumn, autism, autistic babe. And the way you structured it too, do you think I have someone type what I am saying like it's a mistake, and he goes back and corrects it? Wait a fucking minute, what? Maybe that's what you're gonna do, and when, when I say, hello, automatic critic, you will punch me in the fucking face. Oh no no no, that's not what you presented here, Eddie. Don't change the story. Kick me in the balls. Why would I want to balls you in the kick? Shit, I messed it up. Sorry, I must go back and do it again. And laugh at me like I'm a fucking imbecile. Here, yeah, as opposed to doing a jerking off motion while I am laughing like an imbecile. Again, who's the imbecile in this situation? You or me? Automatic critic. I swear to Allah, if you say I am sick and tired of your bullshit one more time, I am going to squeak. You just make me want to make more response videos out of your ass. Ooh, why would you want to make response videos out of my ass? That's disgusting. But hey, at least you didn't say I am sick and tired of your bullshit, because that's not true at all. And that's what I'm going to keep on doing. Every time you make a commentary on me, I will make another video out of your ass. Another response. And that's what? After this video, I am not going to make another commentary on you again, because you only do these videos just to get more spotlights in this series. Not gonna happen again. I mean, I don't even give a shit if you make another rant video on me. I don't even give a flying fuck. You know, despite how much you continuously say it, it seems to me like you do give a flying fuck, given how much needless emotion and motivation you put when making this video. If a lot of people hate me in the f on the fucking internet, that's okay, that's fine with me. I don't even give a shit. You sure you don't want me to call the police in them on your behalf? Okay, I'll stop. I don't care. If Megatube, if you see this video, you better not make a commentary out of my ass. Wait a minute. You just stated 100 times that you don't care if people commentate on your ass, but you don't want Megatube to make a commentary in you. You basically just contradicted yourself. Not to mention, Megadoop TV is not on YouTube anymore, mind you. Wait, this was probably uploaded before Megadoop retired. Fuck. And you know, Megadoop, I am not going to make a rant video on Veilsky Bum or any other of these stupid dumb bastards in the cartoon reviewing community. Well, that's a twist there, Eddie. You essentially are turning your back in the cartoon community once and for all. Top 10 anime twists of 2014. What an old meme that is. And <clears throat> Megadupe TV, make a reviewer review out of my fucking channel. Wait a minute, you don't want Megadupe to commentate on you, but yet you prefer him to make a reviewer review in you. Contradictory at its finest. Jesus, you contradict yourself more than the Bible does. And see how you feel about it, you fucking idiot. How you feel, or how he feels? Pick the right one. And you know... Megadupe TV, I am not going to call the fucking cops just because people are making rants on me. Then why did you threaten to call the police if someone makes a rant on you in one of your other videos where you try to convince people to not take in Mr. Ender? Speaking of Mr. Ender, didn't anyone see Mr. Ender's latest video addressing his critics? I've seen some parts of it, but I heard that it's good. And Megadupe TV, I never, I didn't even tell Turkey Tom to make a rant on you. Are you fucking serious? I don't think so. I'd never said that! You never said that? I'd never said that! You never said that, you say? I'd never said that! Inform me about what happened. I'd never said that! That'll be all the time we have for now in this interview. Thank you, Eddie. You dumbass. And Automagic Critic. I'm going back to Automagic Critic. Thank you for the attention, Eddie Wise. Just leave me alone. You keep saying it over and over at this point. It's almost as if you don't really want me to leave you alone. Yeah. You can suck your own penis, automatic critic. I don't even know why you are permitting me to suck my own cock. This could have easily been taken as a compliment, just so you know. But you can't even suck your own damn testicles? No, I can't, because sucking my testicles is impossible, unless, if you have a bendy straw, a knife to cut a hole in your gal sack and your left testicle, and sucking the seminal fluids out of it with said bendy straw, here, I figured it would be painful to, specifically the part where you cut a hole in your left testicle. I apologize for that cursed image, people. Yeah, I think you're not short enough to reach your balls. Otto is not short enough to give himself a blowjob. You sure got him good this time, Eddie. And, and Automatic Critic, why did he have to add Ronald Reagan, Barney, Satan, Santa Claus, Mr. Enter, Adult Hitler, and that stupid dumb bastard?
because the event that happened at the time involved these people listed above. Also, gotta love the fact that you literally called Neanderthals stupid dumb bastards. I guess, if you just wanna make things simple towards some groups of people struggling in the education system, then it might be the option that is most beneficial. Why do you have to add Ronald Reagan in that video? Why not? Also, did anyone hear any wise crack one of his fingers? <laughs> Judge for yourself. What's next? Are you gonna add Hillary fucking Clinton? No. I didn't add Hillary fucking Clinton, because Hillary fucking Clinton did not partake in the activities me and the boys did. Or Donald Trump in your next commentary on me? I will not only add Donald Trump in my next commentary, but I will add Millard Fillmore, Drew Pickles, Ronald McDonald, The Eds, Jaden Animations, The Odd Ones Out, Colonel Sanders, George W. Bush, Richard Nixon, Stan Smith, J. Arnold, Gerald the Dark, Helga the Blonde, Phoebe the Honest, Carol the Jew, The Wiggly Wiggly Wiggles, George Otsalkalus, David Childress, and the entire fleet of YouTube troll police members, and that's just the tip of the iceberg on how many people will be included in the next event, but as stated previously we are this time accepting women too. You stupid dumb asshole. My asshole cannot be stupid nor dumb. I am sick and tired of your bullshit, Automagic Critic. I am done with your dumb ass. Thank you, because me and my dumb ass are done with you too. I don't even want you to touch my dumb ass either. Make more commentaries on me, because the more you the more commentaries that you make on me, the more videos I'll make on you. Well, guess what? After this commentary, I won't make another commentary on you again, as stated previously, I guess. Look, I can complain about these bad cartoons because Cartoon Network doesn't air any variety. You know, despite how much Cartoon Network seemingly likes to air Teen Titans Go all the time, I am pretty sure Cartoon Network still has a variety of different shows as they did back in the 6th century. Cartoon Network, not, I mean, Automagic Critic. The reason why Cartoon Network airs Teen Titans Go all the fucking time because it's popular, and it's popular among kids. Well, no shit. Better turn around to the people in the cartoon community's version of the Order of Solomon's Temple and tell them why they keep pairing Teen Titans no more often instead of looking at me explaining it to me like I don't know what. Like, Automagic Critic. My kids will become stupid, dumb imbeciles or stupid, dumb trolls or golems if they watch that show, if it's still around. So, let me get this straight, the government implemented hypnotic encrypted messages that will be received by kids, or ultimately turning them into stupid dumb imbeciles, better known to experts, as stupid dumb trolls or bombs, so the Freemasons will keep their grip in this country without having to worry about rebellion from a generation of people that watched Teen Titans go as a kid. An automagic critic, you won't even, you don't even have a wife, or children for that matter, so you won't even become a great dad either. Well, I know one thing for certain, I do have a girlfriend. I'm so pissed off right now. Oh, you sure are. Automagic Critic, because you made me mad. You make me want the term. You make me want to turn me into the fucking Hulk. Not just the Incredible Hulk, but the fucking Hulk. This fucking Hulk has red skin and has horns growing out of his nose. That's the only thing I can describe from a grotesque image I am getting right now for no reason. I will turn into the fucking Hulk. Go oh shit, you will. And it doesn't sound like the metaphor this time. Well, shit. I will grab you in the neck. Click your neck. By doing absolutely nothing other than grabbing my neck. And throw you off the Empire State Building. Now that sounds like Hong Kong to me. Oops, I meant King Kong. Fuck damn, I messed it up. Better go back and do it again. Because that's how King Kong died in the old films in the 2005 film. If only I cared to correct you by doing research on this, but alas. Yes. I think I am the planes, and you are King Kong. And I will smash those same planes by using my heat vision. Doesn't King Kong have heat vision? Also, great to hear that your consciousness is in that of multiple planes instead of having your own body as your dome. My existential crisis is at all time high. I think if, he, if I actually saw you in person, I will turn into the Hulk. I'll grab you, grab your neck, click your neck. I'll go, I'll jump all the way to the Empire State Building and throw you. And then you will be shot up by a secret paramilitary group for turning into the Incredible Hulk in public. Because I am sick and tired of your crap and your bullshit. My crap and my bullshit? Mind you, I am not a bull, so this shouldn't apply. And even if I was, I wouldn't take a crap either. Because when you hear the word crap, chances are it's human or a dog's crap. Try figuring this out now. 
you don't care about me at all and you don't even care about me anyway. So if you make a rant video out of me, out of this next commentary, I don't care. I want a lot of YouTubers to make a rant on me out of this video because I don't care what people say in the comment section and I don't care what people say in the YouTube community. Then, why the hell did you delete this video? For those who are wondering, what I am commentating on right now is a reported video, so chances are the video has been deleted by Eddie Wise. Knowing this, this whole thing, where you claim you don't care how much haters you receive, is false. People in the YouTube community will never take me fucking seriously. Exactly, because, when you make videos, where you claim you're going to call the police over some trolls making rants on you, especially, when you are talking about a hate mainly consisting of those anti lol comics fits, then don't be surprised that you will constantly get mocked over the internet. Well, enough rambling. That's the end of this video, Automagic Critic. If you don't like it, just please give it a thumbs down if you fucking hate it. And if you like this commentary, or if you like this response, my subscribers, just please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for carefully explaining the basic functions of the like and dislike buttons. I couldn't have noticed it up until you showed me how to do it. I am very grateful. And and the last thing before I go, Automagic Critic, Teen Titans Go is not getting a sixth season. I said the original Teen Titans is getting a sixth season. Really? Because last time I remember, you said that Teen Titans Go was getting a sixth season. But thanks anyway for letting me know, I guess. Because Michael Michael Jelenic said that we're almost guaranteed that 99% chance we'll get the original Teen Titans. Yes, I did make a video about Stephen Hawking and I said Teen Titans Go is getting a sixth season, but I I was wrong. It's not the not Teen Titans Go getting the sixth season. The original Teen Titans is getting a sixth season. Well, see you later. Bye. No, you just made a simple mistake. I don't really care if you correct it in any way, but if it was in the latest trim, then there wouldn't be that much excuses, would there? Anyway, that concludes Eddie Wisconsin's second response video towards me. This also concludes the Eddie Wise saga in my commentary series. You know, as lol cowish Eddie made me, I think I've been a little too harsh on Eddie. I suggest some people to anonymously subscribe to him, if you wish, but don't tell him, because I don't want to establish any links with him. Hey, at least give me credit for being selfless in the situation, I'm dropping my sword, for I am no Kublai Khan. Overall, Eddie Wise has been one of the most lol cowish person I've ever commentated in in my commentary series. Not only has he been a defensive jackass towards Mr. Ender, but he just refuses to put his sword down when someone makes a video on him. He even went so far as to appoint some random randers to rant on me, because these people don't know who Auto Magic Critic is, so they are the most easiest of people to manipulate. Anyway, this is Auto Magic Critic, and make sure you report this video for promoting terrorism, so the CIA will burst through my door and send me to a former Japanese American death camp. Oops, I meant internment camp. See you next time, you fucking anime loving faggots.